Good evening. I first entered politics in 1964. When you have been involved that long, you tend to think that everybody remembers the past as well as you do. 1964 was the year the United Nations told UK, talk to Spain about Gibraltar sovereignty. It was to stop this that I became involved. For years, UK rejected sovereignty talks, but after 1976, they held talks in what became known as the Strasbourg Process, which our party opposed. This was followed by the Lisbon Agreement in 1980, formalized at UN level, under which Spain promised to open the frontier, but never did. The GSLP opposed this process. The third attempt was the infamous Brussels Agreement, which for the first time explicitly mentioned sovereignty negotiations and worse still, split the sovereignty question into two, the isthmus and the city. This split reflected Spain's view that the land beyond casemates had been stolen and undermined our territorial integrity. Today is the 30th anniversary of the Brussels betrayal. Today, few remember it and no one defends it, but it was not always so. In 1984, our party formed the opposition after a general election which we almost won and would have won had the then secret Brussels deal been known. When it was announced in November, we rejected it. We fought its implementation tooth and nail. We collected 10,000 signatures in a petition against it. We called for a referendum on an issue which went to the very core of our survival as a people. We staged a walkout when it was brought to Parliament. The GSLP argued it was the most dangerous decision ever taken in our whole history. And we were alone. Alone on Strasbourg. Alone on Lisbon. Alone on Brussels. We were alone then, in 1984. But we're not alone anymore. Now, no one supports a Brussels agreement. In 1988, we became your government, and as we had pledged in our campaign, we boycotted the Brussels process. The UK tried to persuade me to take part because, to quote the then Foreign Secretary, politicians say things to get elected, but then in office they have to massage the message. In other words, they say one thing and then do the opposite. Many do, here and elsewhere which explains why people lose faith in the system and distrust politicians. Well, one of the advantages of having been around so long is that time proves you right or wrong. When Mr. Caruana, as he then was, fought the by-election in 1991, he defended the Brussels deal. Years later, he told the UN that Brussels had been dead since I became chief minister in 1988. So am I saying the GSLP always got things right? No. Have we proved right on fundamentals? The answer is a resounding yes. Look at our track record and judge for yourselves. The fundamental issue for me and the core value of this party is, always will be, that Gibraltar should never ever become a part of Spain or share its sovereignty. Gibraltar must always belong to us, the Gibraltarians, and no one else. To ensure this, not only do we have to strengthen our identity as a people, as we do at the Casemates political rally every year, but our economy as well. Our rally, which as you may remember, the GSD got rid of and replaced with a municipal fund day. Our national day is not a municipal fund day. It is the celebration of who we are, the Gibraltarian people. We were right on the creation of National Day, even if it upset Madrid. We were right in our fight for UK wages, even if it upset London. We were right when we fought the 1988 election with the banner saying, you cannot spend money before you make it, and made the economy grow before we started spending. We were right in 2007 when we said the economy could reach 1.2 billion in 2011. It did. We will be right next year when it reaches 1.7 billion 
as we predicted in 2011. We are right in creating our own university, as we promised, in building more houses, as we promised, in increasing the number of jobs held by Gibraltarians, as we have done. An increase in Gibraltarian jobs in just two years, over twice as big as the GSD managed to produce in 15 years. We are right in cutting by 50% the national debt, and we're also right in turning the savings bank, which belongs to all of us, into a growing, profitable operation. Three years ago, Mr. Fitton left us a savings bank with some 70 million pounds of deposits and a few thousand pounds in reserves. By next month, in just three years, in spite of Fitton's attempt to scare people away from the bank, deposits will have grown from 70 million to 700 million. Yes, you have heard me right, a tenfold increase to 700 million and the reserves from a few thousand to some 15 million pounds. Some increases in spite of or maybe because of Fitton's scaremongering. So why is he against? Because you see, politics is about trust. It's about whether you can trust the judgment of the person who wants your vote and whether what that person is telling you today is what he told you 42 years ago in my case or say 14 years ago in Fitton's case. Remember 2000 when he asked you to vote the SLP or 2003 when he was saying I can get rid of Caruana, vote for my Labour Party or 2007 when he was telling you vote GSD or last year when he declared Mr. Caruana the greatest Gibraltarian ever, presumably in gratitude for the GSD leadership, the greatest ever, surpassing everyone that has contributed anything to this nation of ours since 1704. Well, in the GSLP, we do not have delusions of grandia. We do not see ourselves as the best thing since sliced bread. Our hallmark is that we stand by what we believe in. We do not shift and change. What we promise, we deliver. Good night.